hello welcome back to my youtube channel so in the continuation of the previous video that is uh, python functions so let's see go deep and dive and we'll see what all are the functions actually what all are the built-in functions in python all right <clears throat> so python has some list list of uh, built-in functions then that can provide different different functionalities to perform some specific task right i know you can't wait it and you want to see the practical implementation of the built-in functions okay so let's move on then so the first function we will use that is the len function so this is the built-in function that this built-in function returns the length of a string list tuple or any iterable object okay so let me define one variable let's say a string equals to mukesh tech hub okay now i don't know what is the length of this string if there is a requirement to calculate the length of a string within the python program or the application right then we have to calculate the length but python program python provides a awesome functionality right with its inbuilt functions that directly you can invoke on a particular string to get the total number or total length of that string right so what does that mean let's say length equals to let me call this len function all right and inside the curly braces we have to pass that string so let's say a string one and here i have to pass a string one all right when i will type a print statement and uh, with this length argument let me save this one let me execute this one and it says 15 see the total length of this string is 15 all right so the the string string one contains total 15 characters within it including the blank spaces all right so this is the len function so len in indicates the length all right okay second example we will use of the abs function that is we call as absolute function so it returns the absolute value all right so let's say number equals to minus 10 all right and uh, take me define me one variable get abs value equals to let me call this abs inbuilt function abs and i have to pass this number let me print this one with this get absolute value variable all right now let me run this python program so okay so the 15 is giving the above function output let me comment above one all right let me rerun this one it says 10 so here absolute value is giving me the absolute number without any negative all right so here we have provided minus 10 and it's making an absolute function on it using the absolute and returning the absolute value so output is 10 all right let me comment this one okay let me take a third number is range function so range is very useful everywhere wherever you will uh, iterating using while loop or iterating over a list tuple or dictionary range function is mainly used all right so what does the rare, uh, this range function does this built-in function returns an iterable sequence of number starting from zero by default and incremented by one by default up to the specified value 
all right so what does this mean let me take example numbers equals to range and 5 all right range 5 i have specified the limit as 5 let me iterate over it take me a for loop for item in numbers so if you have the uh, exposure in the uh, for loops how we can use a for loop so easily you can understand it will hold the first element from this iterable right and we are iterating over this variable numbers right and let's print all those items sorry it's a item right so here what could be the output as i mentioned it will start from zero okay incremented by one by default right by default it will start from the zero incremented by one so it will give the output as up to five number starting from zero one two three and four right if you will count total that is five G not five it's a four all right so first second third fourth and fifth all right but it's taking zero it's giving actually the index so let me compile and run this one you can see the output zero one two three four let me take uh, one more example of uh, inbuilt function that is the max so what max function does it this built-in function returns the largest item in an iterable or the largest of two or more arguments okay largest item l a r g g e s t largest item all right okay so let me define a list of numbers numbers equals to 1 2 3 4 5 all right let's say largest num equals 2 we have to call this max func max function and just give this list of numbers all right let's say print and largest number a spelling mistake <coughs> largest all right okay so what will be the output of this one what will be the output of this one any idea okay let me run this one it says <coughs> 5 right it says 5 because 5 is the largest number let me make it as 13 let me rerun the program it says 13 so 13 is the largest number from this list okay so it's printing the max of it all right we can use one more inbuilt function let me take that example also sum okay so this sum inbuilt function returns the sum of all the items in an iterable so let me uncomment this one this list and what i will do is sum of num equals to let me call this sum inbuilt function on the list of numbers right let me print this one and pass the sum of num okay so it will give me the total sum of this particular list so it says 25 so if you will add all these number it is actually 25 okay 
this is about the sum inbuilt function <clears throat> let me take one last example of the inbuilt function that is round okay so what does this round inbuilt function does it it returns the rounded value of a number to the specified number of decimal places by default zero by default zero let me take one number is n u m b e r number is take the value of uh, pi 3.14 1 okay round num equals to let me use this round inbuilt function and pass the number okay let me print this one and inside that let me pass the number so let me comment above one otherwise it will print the output from there all right so i define a number equals to 3.14 that is actually a value of pi all right that is the mathematical term phi so <clears throat> i called this round inbuilt function on this number okay let me execute it so it says 3.141 now what i will do is because i haven't provided any decimal point up to it has to print so after the number if i will provide the decimal points up to what number it has to print so let's say if i'm giving the two decimal point so now see the output as not number let me pass round num it says 3.14 right so instead of 3. Point, if i will add few more values and i will run it it will give me up to 3.14 if i will change it to 3 then you will see it 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 is giving the three decimal points after the decimal point it is giving me three numbers so 141 So thank you guys it was all about the python inbuilt function we will see couple more example or the other functionalities of the functions stay tuned we'll see in the next video lecture thank you